Hello, this presentation is by the Child Care Council. Today I'm going to show you how to log in to CACFPNet.com presented by AccuTrack and show you how to enroll children into the food program using CACFP.net. Before we get started, AccuTrack does not work properly on Chromebook or on Internet Explorer. So for web browsers, you can use Safari, Chrome, or Firefox. AccuTrack will work on desktop and laptop computers, plus tablets and smartphones. So let's get started. First thing we are going to do is in the search bar, we're going to type in CACFPNet.com. Now, as soon as you are in the actual program, you're going to go to the login screen. Once you click the login button, you will want to bookmark this page so it is easily accessible when you open your browser again. You can create a shortcut, or if you're using Google Chrome, you could click this star right here to bookmark it easily. Or you can go to these three dots in the corner, go to bookmarks and click bookmark this tab. So go ahead and enter the email that we have on file at the Child Care Council for you. Your password will be the same password that you used previously for the program before this if you were using Kid Care. Otherwise, your CACFP specialist will get you a password. Click Remember Me on this computer if this is a computer you will be using regularly and click Log In. This should bring you to the main home screen. It'll say CACFP.net on the upper left corner. You'll see your name, the date, and down below different menu items. Notice that you can open submenus when you hover over Home, My CACFP Info, Planning, Changes, Business Records, Help, and Log Out. Primarily, we're going to be using My CACFP Info. However, really quick, I want to show you guys something under the Changes tab. Right now, this system does not have a field for documenting when you are open on a holiday. So until that function gets added, we're going to have you do the following. Hover over the Changes tab, scroll down to School Age, and click that to open. Go ahead and enter the date you are open. Highlight any children that were present. It says hold down the control key for multiple children. Select the meals that were served. And then under reason, type in open on holiday. The exact holiday does not need to be specified, just open on holiday. Please make sure that you highlight at least one child, otherwise it will not save. So go ahead and click the save button on the lower right right here. Please remember that documenting this is the only way we can reimburse you for your meals on holidays. If we do not have written documentation that you were open on the holiday, the system will automatically disallow you for those meals. So please be sure to give us written documentation in this way so we know you are open on a holiday. Then you will see under here where it says change request history, your entry saying that you were open on this holiday. Let's go back to discussing how to enroll children. So I'm going to go back to home. Go back and hover over my CACFP info. And here you're going to click on children. When you go into children, you're going to click pre-enroll a child now. Now, if you were in our previous food program, you will already have some children listed here. If you are not and you're starting brand new, 
this list will be empty. So go ahead and click re-enroll a child. When you click pre-enroll child, it should start with the child's number, which is pre-populated, so you don't need to worry about that. Just enter the child's name. So go ahead and enter the child's name, the child's date of birth, and the child's enrollment date. If you have the parent's name and email, that would be great. Otherwise, just enter the parent's name. Within the next few months, this screen will include more options to fill in, such as days in care, meals served, time in and out, etc. This will result in less information that has to be written on the enrollments once you print it out. However, for now, this will be all that you need to enter. So go ahead and click enter. After you enter this info, click enter to save and you are now ready to print their enrollment form. So now that we have pre-enrolled, we are going to go back to the My CACAP Info tab and click enrollment. This is where you are going to populate the page that you are going to fill out with the parent. So under provider, it should show your name and under child, you should find the child you just signed up and click display report. Here, you will be able to preview a version of the report. However, be sure to click the save icon prior to printing. You can save as an Excel, PDF, or Word document. Depending on the software you have, Save the document in whatever format you are able to open and print. Once you have the printed copy open, which should fill up the whole page like this, have the parent fill out the remaining information. A few things to know on this enrollment form. If the child will be in care on the weekend, be sure to write in Saturday or Sunday as this page only has Monday through Friday. Also, if the child has a special diet, please write it in the comments section below, and your CACFP specialist will check in and give you further instructions on whether additional documentation will be needed. Any other notes, please write in the comments section. Under eligible meal types below, be sure to circle all the meals the child will be present for, as you will only be able to select those meals when entering food. Make sure the parent signs and dates in the appropriate spot. If the child is an infant, this is a great time to fill out the parent provider infant feeding agreement. Both of these documents should be submitted together when enrolling an infant. You can submit both of these documents electronically to your CACFP specialists. You can scan an email, text it to us, or physically drop it off at the office. But you want to get this in as soon as possible without delay, preferably within a week within the child's start date. Do not wait until the end of the month when you're submitting your claims, because we need time to process your new enrollments before you submit your claim at the end of the month. The sooner we get this, the better. Remember, you can submit enrollments to us electronically. Thank you so much for watching this video. One last thing I wanted to mention. When you are entering foods, please be sure you are selecting the food items from the food list. So if you're entering meat, Rather than typing steak in, as I just did, make sure you go through and you look for beef and steak and click that button. All right, thank you so much for watching this video and please stay tuned to watch our next video where we will show you how to enter foods into the AccuTrack program. Thank you so much and have a great day.